This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town like Chilling Ring, for example, you can use the coupon code ZABLUSTCG for 5% off your complete order. How fantastic is that? Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're gonna be able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and they even have old school cards for the collectors out there. Last but not least, this video is also sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. This is a website where you're gonna be able to create your own unique custom playmat. Use the coupon code zablucg 10 yp for 10% of your complete order or just click the link in the description below to create your own fantastic playmat for the new season. Anyhow, uh, thanks for sticking around with the commercials. I'll see you guys in a bit. So uh, see you then. What's up, YouTube? It's Zadlois TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. In this channel, you get daily Pokemon TCG content, so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss any single upload. Today, we're going to be talking about the top 10 best decks of uh, Chilling Ring. Yeah, it has been out for uh, two weeks and a half, and uh, that's uh, yeah the data that we're actually collecting throughout the tournaments on play.limitlessTCG.com. So uh, we got that thanks to TrainerHill.com. So uh, very interesting uh, data, and we're going to be checking out the top 10 best decks of Chilling Ring. Hopefully, you guys are ready. On the number 10 spot already, let's just get this video started, is Victini V Max. Oh, how, how the Wilder decks have fallen down. Uh, this is all, the only Wilder deck on the list, by the way, so a little spoiler ahead. Uh, the reason for that is that there's just way too much hand disruption in the format. The Trevenor is huge, Marnies are everywhere, uh, reset stamp combos and stuff. So yeah, and this spe specific situation, Victini V Max just uh, barely uh, slides in on the number 10 spot thanks to tournament results. It is still a strong deck, don't get me wrong. There is, of course, the way you can hit uh, yeah, things that are weak. Uh, for instance, the VMAXs, they still need to evolve, they need to uh, wait a turn. So if you go first and you attach to a Victini V me, you're, you're also uh, putting up so much pressure. If the, uh, the opponent doesn't have uh, another V up on play, just boss and the game ends on the spot. So that's why Victini V Max is still a strong deck. You want to go first with this deck, attach to off the turn, and then uh, go for that max victory attack of uh, the Victini V Max, slapping 220 on V Pokemon. There's still some tag teams in the format, and the good thing is, uh, Luke Metal also saw a huge uptick in play, and you also hit that for weakness, which is super nice. Some of the Luke Metal decks don't even run Metal Coding Energies anymore, and this deck list uh, has some answers against everything because of a Galarian Rapid Dash V. This include with Libra Horn, which allows you to put a uh, Pokemon uh, to 100 HP remaining, and then you can finish the job with Max Victory. So uh, it's gonna be very uh, impactful. If you're still looking for a fire deck, and this is the only fire deck I personally would invest into. Very gonna be. It's also gonna be great uh, post rotation. You are of course weak to water. The Ice Rider is uh, implemented with Chilling Rain, but other than that, it's still a straightforward deck. You wilder onto your targets. Even if you wilder onto something like uh, your Cramorant, you can start using Spit Shot on the Dene. Maybe you can absorb all energies and go for Hot Burn GX. There's still uh, the Reshizard in here as well. The problem with this specific list is, of course, you don't have answers against the Sigiwai, but uh, what are the chances of you bumping into the Sigiwai? But uh, you just need to find your Welder and just blaze through VMAX decks. That's what you want to do with this specific list. Number 10, Victini VMAX. Next up, talking about the Sigiwai, it is of course the Sigiwai. This uh, is a deck that did very well in the Limitless Invitational 2021. Uh, and has been performing very well, but the reason why it's not higher up on the list is that people are now starting to tack in Aegis slash V into their ADP list. They are now starting to play stuff like Phoebe into their Eternus list. Uh, you have answers against uh, the Sigiwai, even the one price archetypes might include stuff like Cresselia, might in include stuff like Volcanion for fire decks, might include Darkrai in their dark boxes. So. Yeah, uh, they have answers, and if you respect the Sigiwai, you will destroy the Sigiwai. And the Sigiwai is a, a deck that says like, oh, are you playing a one prizer? Oh, you are. Oh, dang it. Uh, oh, are you playing Phoebe or Aegis Slash? Oh, dang it, you are, and then you lose. But if they don't tack for it, you automatically win with the Sigiwai by doing nothing at all. Uh, the the Fiona is imp implemented here to actually have a chance against Luke Metal, because that means you can Fiona and never deck out. And that means you can maybe win on timer, <laughs> who knows. What else uh, do we see? They can actually uh, knock out the Fion, but uh, you can always have to use the Whirlpool suction time and time again, and then you probably win on timer. That's why the Fion is in here. What else can we see in this list is that we do run Stealthy Hood to protect ourselves from opposing Inteleon. The Inteleon from Chilling Rain has been performing very well with quick shooting. You have the big parasol to protect yourself from Shadow Rider Calyrex V and its damage spread uh, attack. So uh, interesting list for sure. You of course get out your stuff with the Drizzle engine, Inteleon as well. One Shady Dealings and then uh, three Shady Dealings 
uh, Drizzle. The only thing you want is a Decidueye by turn 2. You even have Snorlax with Gormandize to make it happen and then you just win games if the opponent does not have any answers for it because of the Deep Forest camo ability. Very strong ability, one of the best in the game. Moving forward, number 8 is Dark Box. Dark Box is now legitimately a great deck. Ever since World Championships 2019 when Unified Minds came out, we were testing out um, the Umbreon and Darkrai tag team GX. We were testing out the Mega Sableye uh, and uh, yeah, uh, the Tyranitar GX. Didn't work out quite well, uh, but now we actually have a way to work it out because of Galarian Moltres, uh, because of the Dire Flame Wings ability. That by itself made sure that this deck is uh, now put on the map thanks to Weavile. You can move around all your energies. You of course have the Marsh to protect yourself against stuff like uh, Path to the Peak. And also uh, Trees for Radiant Forest, very easy to overlap while searching for energies. And the Red and Blue Engine with 4 Tackle will definitely ensure you, you have yourself uh, a first or actually a second turn uh, red and blue either you evolve your type null into the cell valley or you evolve your sneasel doesn't even matter you now have like five outs if you can red and blue either of these you have so many energies in play you can start going for black lands dark moon jacks one hit ko's uh, a Decidueye as well, by the way, unless they have Big Parasol, but if they don't have that, you can one-hit KO that as well. But Dark Moon Jax is su super powerful. If you have six energies onto your Mewtwo, or maybe you're using the Dark Ryan Umbreon itself, you can actually one-hit KO any Pokemon in the game. And having six energies in deck uh, in play with this deck is very easy to do so. There's also the Greninja Zoroark Jax, which allows you to take a uh, uh, yeah, huge KOs with the Dark Pulse attack. The more Darkness energies in play, the more damage you're dishing out. So. A very cool deck. I love playing with this deck to be honest and now it's sliding in on the number 8 spot. Very cool to see. Mewtwo can copy attacks from your GXs in the discard pile. So uh, throw away your Sable Tar, throw away your Greninja Zorak and Mewtwo can do the job. If you're up against Calyrex then you just go for full darkness mode and hit for weakness. So uh, you hit weakness for the Psychic type and you hit weakness for darkness type. So that's very cool about this list. And uh, I do like it very much. So uh, moving forward, number 7. Is going to be Spirit Tomb, and this is a deck that is not playing any cards from Chilling Rain. The reason why Spirit Tomb is good is because Calyrex, Shadow Rider Calyrex, on the other hand, is super, super uh, consistent and powerful. So uh, Spirit Tomb just uh, preys on that and uh, just tries to just destroy with the Anguish Cry. Uh, you use Building Spike during the game in combination with Spike Mud and Escape Rope and switches. And even the Hiding Dark Energy to make a lot of damage happen onto Spirit Tomb. With Cape of Toughness, Spirit Tomb has technically 110 HP and you can actually go for crazy attacks. One hit KO specific uh, yeah, tag teams, but also uh, KO uh, stuff that is weak to darkness. For instance, the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. Nothing else has changed about this specific list and it is very solid at what it, at what it does. Uh, you can just switch around indefinitely, go for Spirit Tomb, crazy attacks. It's one prize Pokemon. Also have a, a favorable matchup against the Sidewai, by the way. So. Very solid one prize deck in the format. So there's two one prize Pokemon we are decks we uh, talked about already, which is nice. So uh, we had number 10, 9, 8, 7. Now number 6 is going to be Urshifu V Max. Urshifu V Max, not the best deck in the format anymore, just because of the weakness to Psychic. Although we still have Jirachi, certain decks do run Path to the Peak and shut that down instantly. Now we have the Quick Shooting Intellion. Instead of relying on a lot of Jirachis and Stellar Wishes, we now have the Shady Dealings Drizzle, searching and cherry picking whatever you want. You want the Karate Belt, you want the Telescopic Side, it's all gonna be good uh, because you can just cherry pick it with Shady Dealings and uh, the Quick Shooting will allow you to hit for crazy numbers. Also with Telescopic Side and the newly introduced uh, Passimian with Throwing Coach, you're actually gonna be able to slap 180 to two of the uh, opponents Bench V or GX Pokemon, very insane. Definitely, if you pair that up with some Italian snipes here and there, uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu, very, very good. Uh, this list is not running Cheryl whatsoever. Maybe you can think about adding in one Cheryl uh, against specific matchups where you can just uh, out heal the Urshifu. This time, it's a very aggressive build. We also have Hoopa that can deal with Shadow Rider Calyrex. So, as you can see, all of these decks, like a lot of dark Pokemon, are now good because of Shadow Rider, and there's good reason for that. I do love the uh, one of Reset Snap and Karate Belt because you can cherry pick them nice and easily. Same goes for the Energy Spinner because you can just get yourself an energy when you need to. And uh, with uh, Air Balloon and uh, Tower of Waves, Switches and of course Escape Rope, you have many switch outs and then yeah, you can go for Gale Trust, Gale Trust into uh, the G-Max Rapid Flow for a lot of damage. So very crazy deck for sure. Number 5 is going to... Ice Rider Calyrex V Max. This is like the uh, yeah the little brother of the Shadow Rider, right? Always uh, walking in the shadows of the shadow. Yeah, if you get it. So uh, Ice Rider still a very powerful deck. 
utilizes the Pat to the Peak to its fullest. You also have Marshall to get rid of Kylex Wells and slap down Pat to the Peak. Pat to the Peak instantly shuts down uh, Galarian Moltres, uh, Intrepid Swordization, DD Change, the Danny GX, uh, uh, the Dark Acid, Crobat V, Eternal Zone of uh, Eternity VMAX. So lots of great things to love about Pat to the Peak. You can get that into play nice and easily with, of course, the level balls and, of course, the Chinchino engine you draw to your deck. Early game, you can go for a Snorlax, so your Ice Rider is a little bit safe. And, of course, with Melanie, you're going to be able to get the uh, Ice, uh, the Ride of the High King uh, going very smoothly or just go for Max Lands for 250. Having some similar vibes to Victini if you can get an Ice Rider out early on and just attach one energy to it. If you are able to get out a lot of Chinchinos and go for the Dannys and stuff, at one point, you will draw into that boss's orders and then you can just boss whatever the uh, uh, opponent have a, has a VMAX and uh, wants to evolve into. You can just KO it before it evolves. Very cool. There's also Phoebe in here respecting, of course, Decidueye. That's what I mentioned here. People are saying, oh, Decidueye, it's an unbeatable deck. Well, there is nothing wrong with Decidueye. You just have to tech for it. Just dedicate one slot to it and uh, that's exactly what happens here. With Mewtwo, you, of course, with Mind Report and, of course, the high amount of scoop-up net can have more uh, boss's orders or more Phoebes or more Melanie depending on the situation and I'm a, a huge fan of course of the, the pad to the peak which also allows you to hit through stuff like Zamazenta V with your uh, Ice Rider Calyrex V Max. You hit weakness against Victini and 250 is not too shabby for sure so uh, a very good deck uh, on the equally on the number five spot just uh, just in the middle. Moving forward number four Eternus V Max. I still think this is the best darkness deck out of the bunch. I know uh, people have been testing out Dark Box and maybe preferring that a little bit better, but Eternus has, of course, the crazy power uh, that it just has four Crobats, very consistent, has Galarian Moltres now, so Crushing Hammer is not a big issue anymore. This time around, uh, this list is not playing any energy switch, just because people have been lowered down on stuff like uh, the uh, aforementioned Crushing Hammer instead and uh, going for a Weavile engine so you don't need energy switches at all. That means you can move around your energies with Shadow Connection, just go for Galarian Moltres and at any specific point if you can get a Weavile out, don't worry, G Galarian Moltres will allow you to get those two energies into play. One attach of the turn, then the Dire with Flame Wings and then Shadow Connection, off you go. Don't worry about Weavile being in play because you also have weak HP Crobats on the bench so don't worry about it in the slightest. And uh, if you are ever up against the Galarian Zapdos, make sure you don't uh, over bench on V Pokemon. Sometimes it's just enough to go for like Eternatus and then some Sneasels, Zigzagoons, Eveltal, Spiritomb. Just fill up your bench that way. That means the Shadow Rider is not able to uh, utilize, of course, the one and only Galarian Zapdos. So, uh, yeah, and if the, even if they go for that, Galarian Moltres does have a weakness to grass instead of fighting. So, very consistent list. Eternus sliding its way here on the number four spot. Number three. Look Metal. Look Metal is also a deck uh, not running any uh, yeah, cards from Chilling Rings. Just like Spirit Tomb is the classic build we got familiar with. They have lowered down on Coding Metal Energies just because the fire amount has been lowered down, which is um, entirely very good for a Victini as an underrated deck. You of course use the Zation here to uh, Intrepid Sword and then use the Look Metal when you're ready to go for full Metal Wall GX, making sure you can discard some of the opponent's energies. In combination with Crushing Hammer, that's a lot of energy discardation uh, going around here and there. And you also make sure you receive 30 less damage for the rest of the game. Uh, three Metal Goggles, uh, not even uh, going for stuff like Cape of Toughness, for stuff like ADP. So um, I don't know if that's going to be... Uh, um yeah, very impactful if you go for Cape of Toughness. The Metal Goggles also stops stuff from uh, the Italian Snipes from going through, which I do think is very good. Two Kyalex well, making sure you can get rid of that uh, annoying Path to the Peak, because Path to the Peak indefinitely shuts you down. I would four Tackle, and having Goose Hala and some Capture Energy, you can go for Capture Indization, Kyalex well, and go for Intrepid Sword. Don't worry about Path to the Peak with this specific list because of the high amount of Tackle. So uh, with four Boss Zords, you will have the boss when you need it, and you can even get one back with Cynthia Catlin, which of course is searchable with the uh, yeah, Tackle engine. Very uh, solid list for sure, Luke Metal still uh, dominating right now, and the reason for that is that fire is nowhere to be found, so it seems. Now, the last two of the list, number two, ADP Zation and Birds, I don't even know how to call this, ADP Birds, ADP Birds, that's how we call it today. Uh, the things we got familiar with, of course, Intrepid Swordization, Metal Saucer, the Attaches of Turn, Alter Creation, Bosses Orders, and Eldegoss. But now we also have some additional tricks. 
Let's say you are up against Eternus. You can have a Galarian Moltres, a Galarian Zabdos striking out of nowhere. Imagine you're up against a Shadow Rider, Calyrex, or whatever. You can hit it for weakness. Now you have additional attackers that can attack up. Uh, maybe uh, you thought like Ultra Creation and then your ADP gets knocked out as it was an issue. Now you actually have ways you can attack. Either a Moltres on the bench has been preparing itself to attack uh, because it also can slap 220 after Ultra Creation buff. Or maybe a Zabdos for one energy can do the exact same thing. You, of course, have three copies of Iridian Forest. Maybe you think uh, you need a Mars Shadow in here so you can get rid of the Calyx well, but this deck, if you can get it on the early phases, Viridian Force is going to be very powerful. If you can get that Darkness Energy in the Discard Pile, a Glaring Moltres can easily set up on the bench, so you don't need, no longer need Zacian, Saucer, Saucer, Boss. Now you can just set up a Moltres on the first turn so it can attack uh, when you need to. Same goes for a Glaring Zavdos coming out of nowhere with, of course, the high amount of Quick Ball. Every deck runs for a Quick Ball, but in this situation with Dedane, with Crobat, with Research, you will find your uh, uh, Zavdos nevertheless. And uh, it also is running a couple of cards in the form of like Tool Scrapper, maybe that could help out if you uh, want to KO some specific Pokemon. For instance, a Zacian uh, with, of course, uh, something like uh, Cape of Toughness or anything else. This list is not running Rusted Sword, instead a Tool Scrapper, which is also pretty fine because Zacian slapping 260 is also a very nice deal for you. One Great Catcher, one Echoing Horn. The Echoing Horn is new, allowing you to, of course, if you knocked out a Dane, to get it back and just knock it out again, which I found very hilarious. The Skyla can, of course, search that out or search out the escape rope or the tool scrapper, whatever you might need in the situation. So a very, very strong deck ADP is not going anywhere. It just keeps on adapting until it rotates. Then finally, the number one spot goes to, you could have guessed it already. This is Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX, the Aurora Energy build with four freaking Aurora Energies and two Zabdos, which means you are prepared for the fighting type matchups. You are, of course, having that one of Necrozma in here. If you go first and you get uh, an Aurora, Aurora Energy or maybe an Energy onto Necrozma, you can threaten an evolving V Pokemon just like you would with Victini V Max because of the uh, second attack of Necrozma V slapping 220 if you have a special energy attached. So a very, very strong scenario or you can just, uh, yeah, the only thing you have, of course, is four Quick Ball, four Fog Crystal and uh, just set your Shadow Riders up. Another thing you can do with this deck is uh, Horror Cheese. That's what I love doing with this deck is just going for Horror House GX. The opponent is not able to play down any card and then uh, you can just evolve all your Shadow Riders and uh, go aggressively with none other than the Necrozma. Uh, if you want, you can add in a Trevenoir in here, which is also nice to uh, lower the opponent's hand size. Could work out in specific situations, but this is a very aggro list. Uh, that uh, utilizes uh, the best at psychic type attacker. Uh, of course, Gengar, Mimikyu, Necrozma, V, and Shadow Rider all forming a pair with 11 uh, psychic energies and four Auroras. You're never gonna be running out of energies. Definitely uh, with the fact of you running an energy retrieval, that means you're gonna have enough at one point to go for the Max Geist and one hit KO V Maxes as well. Very solid list, very consistent. That's what uh, the main focus of these uh, top tier decks is. Very consistent at uh, doing what they do best, just uh, getting their game plan set up. And uh, this is the top 10 best decks of Chilling Rain. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many ways. And of course, subscribe for more daily Pokemon TCG content. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite deck is right now. What deck are you piloting? I really want to know down below. Maybe... Uh, one of these decks uh, that you're playing is not even on this list and has been performing quite well. This is just the first top 10 of Chilling Rain decks and uh, hopefully that all can adapt when, uh, of course, more tournaments happen. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. Be sure to check out our sponsors, of course, PotownStore.com. If you're looking for any TCGO code cards, uh, maybe you're looking for promo codes like uh, Crobat, maybe you are looking for Chilling Rain packs so you can get some Shadow Riders, whatever you might need, use the coupon code ZADLUCCG for 5% of your complete order. And also go check out our other sponsors. If you are a European player, go check out CardMarket.com. Uh, yeah, the best place uh, where you can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And then uh, if you ever want to be creating your own unique custom playmat, maybe you already have a design that you ever want to playmat off. Maybe you just downloaded a perfect wallpaper. You can go over to yourplaymat.com, upload your image, and they will make a playmat for you. And uh, they ship worldwide. So use that link in the description and get 10% off your complete order. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic day, as I already mentioned. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video very, very shortly. Chilling Rain is super awesome. Look at all these decks. Try them out for yourself. Peace.